Have you ever wondered about the life of an onion or that of a tomato or even a chili? Today we delve into their extraordinary lives. Our tale begins with a solitary chili, whose silence is as deep as its color. It lives a quiet life, often gazing out the window at the world beyond. One day it spots an onion and tomato, their bond evident in their laughter and shared stories. The chili, yearning for such companionship, decides to approach them, hoping to be welcomed into their circle of friendship. With a hopeful heart, the chili approaches the duo under the tree. It musters the courage to ask, may I join your group of friends? But the onion and tomato, much to its dismay, respond with a curt, we won't join you as friends, get away from here. Rejected and dejected, the chili returns home, its heart heavy with disappointment. Just when the chili thought it would always be alone, it met someone unexpected. Along came a cheerful ice cream cone, who noticed the chili's gloomy demeanor. The chili told its tale about the onion and tomato who didn't want its friendship. Well, I'll be your friend, the ice cream cone declared, offering a comforting sweetness to the chili's spicy solitude. Gratefully, the chili accepted the ice cream cone's friendship, but deep down, it still yearned for the camaraderie of the onion and tomato. Even as the bond between the chili and the ice cream cone grew stronger, the chili couldn't help but cast wistful glances towards the tree where it had once hoped to join in the fun. Despite its newfound friendship, the chili's heart still yearned for the companionship of the onion and tomato. The chili, hopeful and eager, decides to approach the onion and tomato once again, but what it finds leaves it heartbroken. With a spring in its step, the chili ventures towards the tree where it last saw the onion and tomato. It had been a day since it had seen them and it was brimming with excitement to check on them. However, instead of the lively chatter and joyful laughter, an eerie silence greeted the chili. The onion and tomato were no longer there. They had wilted away, leaving behind only a memory of their vibrant spirits. The chili, staring at the lifeless forms of its would-be friends, felt a wave of sorrow wash over it. The world seemed to stand still as the chili's heart sank, its hopes shattered. The chili was overwhelmed by a profound sense of grief. It had lost the friends it never had the chance to make. As the chili sobbed, its tears falling like droplets of dew onto the ground, an ethereal figure appeared. It was God, watching the chili with a sympathetic gaze. Every time a human cries, God said with a soft, comforting voice, it is because of the death of friends. God's words resonated with the chili. It felt a strange connection with humans understanding their sorrow. It realized that the bond it had sought with the onion and tomato had already formed, even if it was brief. The chili, onion, and tomato, despite their differences, shared a bond of friendship that transcended life itself. Their friendship was as real as the grief the chili felt. In its grief, the chili learned a harsh reality about life, death, and the value of true friendship. The chili understood that true friendship was not merely about sharing laughs and spending time together. It was about feeling a connection so deep that it touched one's soul, a bond so strong that it could evoke tears. The chili in its sorrow had discovered the essence of true friendship. Our story may have ended in sadness, but it leaves us with a valuable lesson. The tale of the chili, the onion, and the tomato, while heart-wrenching, is a poignant reminder of the enduring nature of friendship. It's true that the onion and tomato are no longer with us, but their memory lingers on, especially in the chili's heart. This tale, as sorrowful as it may be, is a testament that true friendship is eternal. It doesn't fade with time or distance or even the passing of life. The chili sought friendship with the onion and the tomato, and even though they're gone, their essence, their friendship, is still felt. Just like the chili, we too may feel the sting of loss, the pang of loneliness. But remember, the friendships we forge, the bonds we create, they transcend the physical realm. They endure. And so the chili understood that true friendship like that it had sought with the onion and tomato never truly dies. It lives on in memories, in tears, and in the heart.